If you've seen my Pretty Reckless video, you'll know that actors getting into the music business isn't an uncommon thing. Josh Radner is just another example of many of these. Josh Radner is an American actor and musician who is most well known for starring as Ted Mosby in the hit TV series How I Met Your Mother, one of my favorite TV series of all time. As an actor, he's certainly not up there with an Ashton Kutcher, a Bill Murray, etc. But he's a decent actor in my opinion. However, I always prefer Jason Siegel on that show. Josh Radner's music career, including collaborative efforts with Australian musician Ben Lee, have been a strong highlight of his overall career in my opinion, aside from his Broadway career. One more than I'll let you go is Josh Radner's debut EP, which came out April 16th, 2021 on Flower Moon Records. Flourishing in indie rock and folk glory, Josh masters his songwriting craft to a great extent on this release, with a diverse range of moods and topics, such as the huge sounding ballad, The High Road, the Frank Turner and Strombella's-esque Hey Ma, or the politically fueled apocalyptic love song. All of these tracks, even including the aforementioned first single, The High Road, are very stripped down folk tracks with little more than Josh's great voice, pianos, some guitars, and sometimes some other arrangements such as strings and percussion. There will be times such as on High Road when there's heavier production, including finger snaps, harmonies, and as I said, percussion, which add a really nice atmosphere to the track. I'll be honest, this collection of songs, and specifically this song, honestly did remind me of a few albums and a few artists in general. The first being the aforementioned Strombellas and their 2016 release Hope, which had many of their big hits, including Spirits. It really does have that modern indie folk production that I absolutely love. Another album this partly reminded me of was Harmony by Canadian singer-songwriter Serena Ryder. If you've never listened to her or heard of her, please, please go check her out. She's won multiple Juno awards and she's had multiple songs make it big here in Canada as they were in commercials, TV shows and more and has went on to do multiple full scale tours in Canada and the US. Songs like Stompa and What I Wouldn't Do have this type of familiar production too with the large doubled vocal choruses and Serena is an absolute poet of a lyricist. The last album I'd like to mention is Please Come Home by Dustin Kenzeru, who you might recognize as the frontman for the post-hardcore and melodic hardcore act Thrice. He has a bluesy folk rock solo project where he's released four albums. However, I personally think Please Come Home is his finest work when he wasn't working with Thrice. Regardless, all of these albums have their sound that I love, and Josh definitely made an album that sounds great in comparison to them. You Feel New has a bit more instrumentation such as some harmonica and tambourine. It also has some amazing doubled vocals in the choruses that remind me of that one album I reviewed early on this year, the new Passenger album. It's all over a pretty feel-good happy track that definitely has those Bob Dylan vibes, which I think is probably a comparison I'll be making a few times in this episode. Apocalyptic Love Song is probably my favorite song on this release, as again, it's pretty politically charged even with the first line in the song. They say the polls are shifting, no not the ones on CNN. To me, this song just feels like a much better executed and rewrote version of If the World Was Ending by Julia Michaels and J.P. Sachs. Which, if you saw my worst songs of 2020 list, you'll know I had my problems with that song. Now, I did explain a little bit in the video why I hate that song, and I feel like it was because of the mood of it. The song has a very somber mood with strings as well, but it also rains with so much passion, and you can tell Josh really felt these lyrics. As much as I don't usually like to rag artists for this, I just don't believe Julia with her fake emotion in that track. I've always had a feeling that Julia never really believed what she was singing, ever. But that track was a very good example of it. 
Another reason I hate that song was just the sound of it. I'm not a fan of Julia's voice at all, and J.P. Sachs, in my opinion, sounds like Chris Martin with a frog in his throat. I thought last year, if that song was recorded by a better artist, maybe I'd believe it. Maybe. And hey, it looks like it happened. While technically not re-recorded, it was rewrote into a way better song and a way better arrangement by a way better singer. Again, easily my favorite song on the EP. Hey Ma is another Bob Dylan-esque track, which includes a more stripped arrangement with tambourines, pianos, and even distorted drums. The harmonies near the outro really lift the track up and make it super unique. Definitely a track worth many listens. The final track, Kiss the Morning, is another track that has a similar vibe to Apocalyptic Love Song, which appeared earlier in the EP. Josh's rough vocals add a lot of emotion to the track, coupled with the softly picked acoustic guitars as well as the flourishing strings. In conclusion, there's not really a forgettable or weak track here. There's so many good things about this album. Lyric and songwriting and production are all top notch here. I'm going to give this EP a 9.3 out of 10 because while I have nothing but great thoughts for it overall, I thought perhaps the instrumentation could have been maybe more diverse, adding in some electric guitars, slide guitars, some more drum kits, or something experimental of the sort. However, for a modern folk and indie record, it does a lot of what I expect, and even more. Some more in indie and folk, you just have that one set sound that you come to expect, especially for something like uh, Of Monsters and Men before they turn into a pop act or strumbellas. However, this record delivers much, much more than that. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my review of the new Josh Radner EP, please check out the rest of my YouTube channel and leave a sub or a like or a dislike. I'd be very grateful to see what kind of thoughts you have for this EP. I will put all my socials in the description if you want to go check those out as well as music links for the album. Josh Radner, one more than all ego, 2021. See you later. Peace.